Okay, so good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everybody. And once again, welcome back in today's class. So yesterday we saw about the table, about the field, about the form design and the form layout. Today what I will do, I divide today's session in two parts. One will contain the theoretical part. Second will contain a little bit practical, which we left yes, sorry, which we left yesterday. Okay, so there's a one topic which we skip in between was the service now capability. Let's say if I purchase a new mobile phone or new laptop, what are the capabilities that particular device provide me? Multiple, it can be used for the gaming, for the movie, for mo for photo photographs, for camera, for call, for email, for Gmail, anything which you want to be used on the laptop, you put it as a capability. In the same manner, you're not able to hear me. Neha, maybe you can just disconnect and connect again. Everybody is able to hear me. Yes. Yes. Neha, just connect again. That is the only solution, I guess. Okay, so this is what we can do on the laptop. Now the point is that what capabilities service now provide to the customers. See, if I think from the business perspective, why should I purchase your product? It is very much important. So what you say, Atul, in my product, I have this thing, I have this thing, I have this thing. Like, like the example of the shark tank. People have the ideas. People go there in the shark tank, they present their product, they tell the benefits, they tell the profits, they tell the income, a lot of things. And finally, they get the funding on that part. And once they get the funding, the product comes in the market and start people start using that part. In the same manner, service now has a lot of capabilities. <coughs> And to divide that capabilities, they have a proper structure. Like I told in the beginning that when I started my ServiceNow journey, it was well said that ServiceNow is nothing but a ticketing tool. That's fine, it was a ticketing tool because it just provides the basics of ITSM. Incident, change, problem, knowledge, request, CMDB, that's all. A little bit reporting, that's all. But now it has been completely changed. And they come up with a lot of new things. So this particular picture will help us to understand the service now capabilities. OK, I try to be zoom as much as I can. OK, so that you guys can see easily. OK, what this is and also again, one of the question which came from the CSA perspective that how many workflows service now provide. So what ServiceNow did, ServiceNow divided their capabilities in immediately five or six sections. Interface, workflows, industry, and now. Now platform, it means these are the things which has been created, developed, maintained by ServiceNow. Originally ServiceNow, maybe they acquire some company to include that in their, in their capacity or what else. But this is what? It's considered as a now platform. OK, if you are building any application on the basis of service now, maybe we are using service now capability. The term maybe is not the right. We are we are going to be use the service now or the now platform. OK, so to discuss this picture, let's say. What are the ways I can interact with a tool? Let's say service now is a tool. Let's say what are the ways you can do a order on Amazon or Flipkart or maybe Mintra. Atur, we can do via app. We can log in or we can do via website. That's all. Or maybe we can do via chat box as well. In the same manner, service now says in my area, I have a, these six as a interfaces that by which you can interact with service now. Number one is called the conversational view. Like chatbot. 
you are facing some issue. If I say like, let me show you example here. Let's say I come here. Here, India. OK, now if you get a pop up here, right? And maybe there's a nothing called Air India. It's maybe they they remove this particular part now. Otherwise, there's a Air India help. Let me say Air India. India help. E this one. See, its agent is offline. Okay, now it's becoming. So this is a conversational view where you can talk and you can get your things done. Maybe you are facing some issue. Maybe you want to order something. You want to know something. You can do this part. So this is a conversational view. It means in service now also we have something like that, something like this, which we called as a virtual agent. This time I am trying to be keep this topic as well. This is the first time I'm going to be teach this topic. And not so that how much I can teach the basics which I know I definitely tell you so that you should also know that what is the basic included in that part. This is the first call the conversational view. Second, as I told you, service now has a mobile app as well. So now what you have to be do go into the Play Store. If you are on the Google, you can search for the now agent. OK. If you're on the uh, this one iOS, then also search for the now agent. Don't search for the now mobile. No. Now mobile is something different and now agent is something different. What is the difference? Let's not pick up as of now. We will take will we pick up when we're going for this particular topic, mobile application development. We have that as well. So download that. Put this instance, this one. As a login and put your ID and the password as a Login credential. You can log into the mobile app. Then the service portal. Service portal means if I say, okay, guys, I want to be book my flights. And I click on the search flight. This is a service portal for me. Now maybe you can say, Atul, it means it is a website. You can say it is a website. Yes. You can say it is a website. That's fine. That's fine. But in service now world, we called it as a service portal. In the short form, it has been called as a SP, S and P. We have a detailed discussion on this topic going forward. Approximately three to four days topic will go to cover everything around service portal. Now the last, second last, sorry, third one is workspace. How I as a agent how I as a fulfiller able to see the incidents, I can go this workspaces. This is a workspace. It is a different kind of area where I as a fulfiller go and do my work. I can click here. I can see incidents. I can see change. I can see problem. Now maybe Suraj has a question or maybe Ravi has a question. Atul, then if an agent can search from this, then why these options are given? These are the legacies. And this has been developed just now. In the Tokyo release, or I guess in before Tokyo, it was um, the release, they launched this service operation workspace. It is earlier it was used for the CSM workspace as a, for the CSM, but now it has been used for the service operation. So now if you want to do any work, you can use this operation workspace. This is for the full filler. I'm again repeating my word. This is for the full filler, not for the end users or the users. Then web services. If I want to do a integration between my instance and Ravi's instance, between my instance and Ashish instance, between my tool and Ravi's tool, how this can be done? It can be done via web services or the APIs. It tool can be anything here. Service now, Jira, Team, Slack, WhatsApp, SMS, anything you can pick up. Salesforce, SAP, you can do the integration. We will have one topic about the integration that how service now to service now integration work. And I'll try to add one more topic which says how service now and the Microsoft team integration can work. Again, the second part, it is the first time I'm including this particular class. And the last 
is a notifications. The emails which you are receiving from the system, if you reply back, it can work for you. Let's say you created an incident, you get an email. Thank you so much, Mr. XYZ. Incident has been created on your name, on your behalf, or for your purpose. Now, if you reply on that particular incident, can I get some update? It get recorded in the incident record. This we're going to be discussed when we discuss about the email configuration. OK, so these are the six to seven ways that how a user can interact with the service now. Clear till this point, guys, any doubt? Good. To the next part. In this four boxes, the major things are there. In these four boxes, you can build your career. I'm telling you, you can build your career in these four boxes. Service now provide three type of workflows. IT, employee, and the customer. It is a question of the CS examination. Remember, okay. IT means the components so or the applications or the modules which you are going only for the IT purpose, your infra purpose specifically. That is called the IT workflow. Employee means where the application or the modules which are applicable for employee specific. Seat booking, room reservation, your HR part, your onboarding, your offboarding, your documentation, your policies. It's come under employee workflow. And then customer. To the end customer to whom you're providing the services. Let's take example. So I'll just give me one minute. Let's take example. Ashish purchased a washing machine. From a showroom. Okay, he go to his nearby showroom and say, boss, I need one fully automated machine. Okay, sir, address, done payment, it's saved. Now he's facing some issue. It was the old time when you when you call back to the showroom person. Boss, I purchased the washing machine, washing machine from you. It is not working. Can you send someone? But now the things have been changed. Now the showroom person says, sir, this is the company's customer care number. Call on that number and the person will come directly from the company. This is what the customer workflow here. The end customer who is consuming the services, these things come into this particular part. And the last creator workflow. If you want to build your own applications, either a mobile, either a standalone application, you can use the creator workflow. So in this area, we are going to be discussed mainly mobile studio and this application studio or the app engine studio. These two are going to be discussed. In this area, we are going to be discussed the CSM in depth for one day session only. Theoretical part, no practical part here because I don't have much idea about this part. In this employee workflow, we will discuss that what are the HRSD, what are the case, what are the tables, what are the portal, including that part. We will discuss this in the Theoretical part because these are the advanced topic all. But here, if I say practically, we're not going to be discuss a lot of things. We have mainly discussed request management because the rest of the things like these things will come under the ITSM implementation. Now, in this part, okay, let me say yes, let's go ahead. Otherwise, I'll forget again. But yeah, so, so I have one question regarding the workplaces. So you told it uh, it is for the fulfiller fulfiller. So do you right. mean fulfiller means the vendor which is uh, helping uh -huh. their customers? Fulfiller means the group who having a ITL role and one who do the work on incident change problem request and knowledge. Okay, okay. Those are the fulfiller. Okay. So, so yes. if let's say in your house internet is not working, you raise a complaint. So from yes. the company, if anybody who is working on your incident or your complaint, he's a fulfiller. Okay, got it. He may be vendor, he may not be vendor. But here we did not take this term as a vendor. We say it's a fulfiller. And generally, if a user has an ITL role, has been considered as a fulfiller. In 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 our industry, in our service, not uh, terminologies. 
okay and also regarding the employee workflow so mm-hmm. as we seen uh, it has been able to do all the hr kind of activity so mm-hmm. will it work uh, like uh, sap success factor yes. or work uh, like uh, wait, wait, no, wait, wait. it is it is tough for me to be comment that will it be work like a sap success factor very tough to be comment here but yes it provide you lot of capabilities which you can use in your hr as a system let's say if you are from the hr domain what's your main work recruitment onboarding offboarding policies documentation and all the requests related to your hr domain yes you can do that part hold it for for at least 20 25 days 30 days approximately we will discuss this topic in depth i'll activate the plugin i'll show that what are the things you can do here but from my perspective is it is again tough to comment that it is going to be replaced or it's replacing or it's equal to that sap success factor here okay this is what the things of the consultant need to be do when they go for the dealings part that why my tool is better than the other tool okay even though i did not work on the sap success factor never okay so i not i'm not in the position to say anything here but once you learn you will able to compare because if you are coming from that domain you can easily take a decision that which is best which is not best okay now in this area in the it seven boxes are there itsm this training is mainly on the admin part okay like what is service now sla notification configuration little bit foundation data and all the things the next training which i am planning to start maybe when i'm not sure but i have a i have a plan to start as well that will only cover this four sections in depth what is change what is change form change module change models kind of thing so if i say or maybe if you have a question atul what we are going to be cover in these in this training not specific to these particular three concepts at least request management yes we will completely discuss how to create how to do these things okay this come into the itsm in the it operation as i say in in the beginning that this picture will open a door for you that in which domain of service now you want to build your career so in the it operation what happen let's say in the beginning let's say we all 14 15 people started a company in the beginning okay and i am your it guy we order 15 laptops and number 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 15 number 1 ujwal number 2 neha number 3 suraj number 4 pranka i divided everybody's that's fine our company is good it's growing we have two servers as well one in delhi one in mumbai is growing we purchase two new database servers one is mumbai one is delhi okay it is easy to remember because the data is very less and these things which i am putting here is called the configuration items okay don't worry don't worry as of now you are you are going to be do the deep dive in this area in this area very soon cmdb is one of the major component in it industry it's a heart i am telling you it's a heart of the it why how when i'll tell you we'll discuss a complete discussion approximately 3 to 4 day session will be go in the cmdb and the csdm okay so to track those things we use the item now let's say i have a 1000 people 10000 servers 10000 ips 10000 networks is it not feasible for me to remember everything every number every asset number then what i do i need some mechanism by which i can do this part so item is one of the area in this particular training we are going to be discuss about the service now discovery and little bit on the service mapping that how it's done how it's happen what are the components are things there means the intention is that these are the topics which required a separate separate trainings completely separate trainings are required for this one and there are the institute there are the industries there are the companies who are providing that trainings 
okay but my intention to give you the little basics so that we can get the understanding it asset management basically this area deal on the infra part all the all the components which help you to provide the service to your customer will come under this part but the things are the components which become assets for me so let's say if i say okay mama tell me how many assets you have in your house atul i have house car bike laptop mobile phone tv fridge utensils or gas stove oven micro these are the assets for you okay let's say when mohammad was bachelor he is able to maintain everything hey i have just one gas stove and one fridge when he get married he has a lot of things in the house now and tough to be managed so how to manage service now provide me a separate module for this in this area two words are very famous ham and sam h a m s a m hardware asset management and software asset management come under this particular area definitely not in our scope but what is asset and how a asset has been related to the cmdb that we are going to be discuss then itbm theek hai i have a incident change problem i have a infra i have a asset now what about the project why i am maintaining these things in excel sheet because i don't have any tool available with me but service now said don't worry i am providing you a tool i am providing you a module i am providing you application where you can go and maintain your projects as well here if you are working as a capacity of the project manager it is a good place for you your demand your projects your sourcing your financials your investment your portfolios everything come here this topic again with the limited knowledge we will discuss but at the and approximately okay then the devops ci cd concept continuous integration continuous deployment come here okay security operation specifically vulnerabilities ransom attack virus attacks how to deal that part i'm not saying that with the, with this module you can stop the ransom no i am saying with this tool you can take a quick action if something goes wrong in in india if i speak in our houses we don't have any kind of a fire alarm system because our houses are very big and complete ventilated portion but here in uk in us in canada every house has been on two fire alarm one near to kitchen one near to the lobby or balcony lobby or maybe the common area somewhere in the house as soon as it ring and it if it ring more than 5 minutes a call that will go to the fire brigade and they came to work on that part but installing the fire alarm doesn't mean that fire will not happen it is just a way to communicate quickly this is what the area and in the short form this area is called as a secops s e c o p s secops security operation how to handle the security incident how to handle the vulnerability has been taken care here and at the last it is called the integrated risk management earlier this topic was called the grc governance risk and compliance but now this topic called the integrated risk management if i ask you what is the biggest loss for you in this era is your respect if you lose your respect you lose everything if you lose the money that still you can earn it but if you lose the respect you cannot earn it back very quickly this is a risk in the same way companies are worried if any loss for me monetary non monetary it's a loss for me but how i can avoid that loss these things has been covered in this area 
a very beautiful. This topic is very, very near to my heart because this particular topic required more consulting than the development. In this particular area in IRM, in sorry, in IRM, we are going to be discuss the standards, ITL, COVID, network standards, telecom standard, medical standards, all these things standards we have to be discuss here. We have to build the policies, we have to build the factors, we have to build the controls around this. Again, this topic is going to be theoretical part, but yes, completely one or it will take. It's a very, very interesting topic, very interesting topic, I'm telling you. This is one of the consulting area, major consulting area. That is the thing. Clear everybody any doubt till this point. Don't feel sleepy. Good. Now, as we are growing as a human being, in the same manner, service now is also growing. Again, just, just remember because these videos definitely be listened or followed by multiple people in the on the social platform. Don't think that I am doing any sales pitch here. No, I am just telling you what service now capability. So don't consider it's a marketing stunt or it's a marketing things or sales pitch. It is just giving a basic information. Now service now say I done in IT, I done in employment, I done in work. Uh, sorry, not employment, employee. I done in customer area. I done in the workflow. What to do now? Now service now start building the products for a specific industries. Yes, it is one of the biggest area now where service now uh, making their footprints. Now the question comes, Atul, is it the new concept? No. Service now with the support of Accenture and with the collaboration of Vodafone and British Telecom, the build the product called the telecom network performance manage management and telecom service management. It is specifically for the telecom industries. They build a product for the legal as well. Legal services. They build a product for the financial services as well. Now they build the products for the health insurance. And not, not health insurance, sorry. Med health sciences somewhere and one more or two products they launch it in, in this particular release. The only thing is that now service now covering the industry as well. This is important. Even though very, very less company as per my experience who worked or using these products. I know that like British Telecom, I know because I saw their um, uh, their blog has been published on the LinkedIn. They are using this TPM and the TSM uh, product of service now. So I know that they are using these things. But the point is that service now moving to the industry specific area as well. So now you can see what vision and mission service now have in their mind. OK, the last is called the now platform. Now if let's say. If you want to use a mobile phone. You have to be switch on the mobile mobile phone only then you can use. That is a now platform. You can switch on via the right click button. You can switch on via that your fingertips kind of things you can do. But you can if you want to be use the mobile phone, you have to be switch on. If you need to be set the alarm, you have to be go to the alarm as an application and then you have to be do that part right. In the same manner. I think they have included SN in OU State University for their health. And yes, some somewhere they have they have done because I know. And also one more thing, if you want to know about this thing, let me show you. This now products. I think I'm if I get this this one. OK, so now you can go and check it here. See in the IT workflow, you can get a lot of things here. If you go here for the employee, you will get it like this. Customer, creator, 
and see these are the service now customers and chess it is uk based vodafone lights bt a lot of lot of customer you can see how many customers they have small big every customer they have and let me show you service now products here here you can see and you can open it you just see you will you will get everything there is the what service now is saying in the it in the employee in the customer in the creator in the all products i'm sure this is the page i'm looking for yes this is the page I'm i was looking for so these many products they have and here are the solutions Customer experience, technology, employee, and all the things. Industry, education, energy, financial, government, in which they are working as of now. See, and you can see the products. So now, can you imagine up to Z, they have a products. So how many products they have? You, you just scroll. If I take in a single line, it it has thirty. So four lines, one twenty two, one twenty products are here only, which you can easily see. And how many are more? Tough to be known. So if you get time, go to this particular link, service now products. Okay. Now the thing is that service now say, okay, I'm providing you everything. But if you want to use my products, or maybe you want to enhance my products, then you can use my platform as well. Under this, they have a six category: workflow. Machine learning, user experience, reusable, security, and admin. In the workflow, this is let's automate your things that come under the workflows and the integration they added here. They added a new concept called the process automation design, the playbooks. Uh, interesting topic. I tried to be study this, but I am not getting this uh, core point as of now. Otherwise, my plan was to include this topic to be just give you overview. Okay, but they have introduced the flow designers. If this is one which we are going to be discussed in our class, definitely. Okay, then machine learning, AI, and the analytics, predictive intelligence, performance analysis, reporting, natural language processing. Few things we are going to be discussed mainly reporting. Something on the PA or PI. I'll just give you a few lines only, not much. OK, then the user experience. I was I was thinking that nobody asked me. Atul, my customer is sitting in China. Or my customer is sitting in Japan. They don't know English. Then what to do in service now? Can we enable or do we need to be do the Google Chrome or the Google translation every time? No. There's a concept introduced by service now that is called the dynamic translations you need to be activate the plugin and then you can do this particular part so english japanese chinese you can install that plugins and the respective the the language which is mentioned the user profile user is able to see that part in that particular area this is what called the use experience and the feedback then reusable data model now, if I see. Yes, it's good. Yeah, so while we are talking about user experience, so mm -hmm. I have been working on few of the projects where we proposed a visual designer uh, mm -hmm. for the service now implementation. So since we have uh, uh, UI library and UX library in this service now portal, so why do we need to propose any a visual designer for this project. What are presenting the visual designer? Because I I never use visual designer. Basically, we use in our visuals things and just show them the diagrammatical format. OK, so there is no need to have any visual designer uh, while working on this service. No, no, why not? You should have. You should have. You should have how otherwise how your customer will understand that how the data is flowing. So generally, what we do, we use uh, or we create the flow diagrams for the same that how the data is flowing from one component to the other component. 
For that, you can use the flow designers. It will give you the graphical representation as well. That from here the data is flowing. Or maybe you can use or you can create your own workflows. Sorry, on your visor diagrams as well on that part. In service now, I never see as of now where you can go and drag and drop and make a process diagram. Process optimization is there. There is a module available process optimization, but it did not provide you the work or the flow diagrams. No. It helps you some in some other perspective. OK, OK. Now in the reusable data model specifically, let's say. Garima want to build a new house. And everybody know that building a new house or building a house. At least for people like us. Is a once in a lifetime because it's required a lot of money, a lot of efforts. And definitely before you know that if I'm building a house now, it should be sustained for the next 20, 25 years, 30 years. At least till the time I am alive, it should be work up, work for me. To build that diagram, to build that house, you need to be go to the a good architect so that it can design your house in a proper manner. A ventilation, a proper kitchen, living room, bedrooms, garage, garden, pool, toilets, washrooms, everything should be there properly manner. This is what the concept called here the data model. How you're going to be store your data basically come in the data model. CMDB is one of the core, CSGM is the one of the core area now, which help you to know, which help you to store your data in a specific model. If you want to know about the CSGM, I personally request I already started a video or the series of the CSGM 4.0. Start watching that video. It is available on my channel. You will get a very good idea about the same. We will discuss these two concepts in depth. Plus service catalog SLA in depth. Knowledge management. I cut out this time because I don't think that it is required as of now. It's be part of ITSM. So I cut it out this for this particular session. Then security and compliance. Nobody should able to use or log in into my instance if there is a no authentication has been specific. It can be multi-factor means multi-factor means by two ways. Password and the OTP, OTP and the email OTP, email OTP and the phone OTP and the password. So these things you can set up here. So service now provide me that detail as well. You can do the encryption as well. And if you want to know about your complete instance security, they have a Instance Security Center. We have this topic in our bucket, which we'll discuss in this part. Authentication, we have a SSO, which we're going to be discussed in the training session. And at the last, it's called the admin and the config. Your form designing, service portal designing, and upgrades, basically considered in the admin part. So these two or three topics, we're going to be pick up in our class. But overall, these are the capabilities which provided by service now to their customer. Now the question comes, Atul, if I purchase service now instance, will I get everything? No. No, never. Few things are out of the box available. For the few things, you have to pay the amount. Like if you say, Atul, I want to use the HRSD, this particular portion. Activate the plugin, pay the license fees. You want to use CSM? Activate the plugin, pay the license fees. So license is important here. Few things are freely available. You can download, you can activate, and you can use it. But few, specifically these things, if I say like ITBM, ITOM, SecOps, GRC, these require the separate licenses as well. So these are the subscription we call it a subscription based where you have to pay the money for the same. OK, so this is all about the service now capability. Now tell me any doubt, any question, any clarification. Anybody has. Even the theoretical part, but still you can you can put it. You may get a question from the examination in this slide as well. And this picture is easily available on the internet, so don't ask. 
So just uh, one question out of sure. curiosity. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. As you said, Atul, uh, knowledge management is not the part of this course. So I just wanted to check uh, whether uh, we can integrate any other knowledge management tool, let's say kind of uh, SharePoint or any other yes. uh, tools we can integrate. You can, you can, you can integrate. Generally, service now not recommend for this case specifically integration. This is why you want to maintain the articles at the two places. Better bring everything in a service now only. Because the way SharePoint has been designed and the way service now knowledge management has been designed is too different. Okay, so these things you have to be thinking practically that is integration is going to be very helpful or better I keep everything under one place. Here the things come for the consultant. See, customer says, boss, I need everything. Now you have to be think that bringing or integration, which is more important. Sometimes I also deal in these situations. Customer says, Atul, can you integrate these two systems? I said, yes. But before I said, let's do it. I have a question, why? What benefit? Why you want to do this part? Is any business need, any compliance? If they say something that, then we have to be think. Otherwise, I never interested for the integration. That is the overhead. That is a. I'm telling you, it's look very tempting. Oh, let's do the integration, but it's very overhead. You have to maintain the two systems. Correct. Right. So think from the business perspective, think the business value, think the business benefits. Only then you have to be decide. Sometimes it has been it happened that in the initial discussions in the initial SOWs, it has been signed that OK, we will do the integration of this tool tool. The time when actual implementation started, the things get changed and customer says, sorry, let's drop this integration idea. Let's bring everything in service now. That's fine. So we have to be think, but yes, integration can be possible. How easy? No idea. OK, now let's come to the second part of today's class. So yesterday we were discussing about these things. Mm, yep, come here and come here. About the form. Let me bring you on the form detail that what a form look like. The structure of the form. OK. Let me open and show you here. Huh. OK. OK. This is a form view. OK, if you scroll till the down, it is a form view. But this form has been divided. So, sorry, this form has been divided in three or four sections. And every section has its name. And a lot of questions come from the form section in the examination. Number one, the bar you are able to see here, this one is called the context menu bar. If you right click, you can see these options. This gray bar is called the context menu. These three lines is called the additional actions. Remember these words because as it is, it come in the examination sometime and then you will confuse oh, you said something gray's part. What was that? It is context. It is. My additional actions. OK, then these are called these are called the buttons. In service now world, it is called the UI action user interface actions. This is called the more options. More options. No. When it comes in the examination, you get confused. These three dots or these three lines are the additional actions. If you click on this, you can get a little bit more options. Like if you want to send an email to the cost to anybody from service now, you can use the email. You want to implement the template, you can go for the templating part. This is the personalized form. Let's say I don't want to be see these two columns. Remove. It's personalized for me, not for you. This is a personalized form. I want everything. OK, good. Here. 
This is activity. What is happening on my particular record? These are the activities. You can see that it has been created with the impact three instant new four. Now if I go and make it as a let's say two and one and save. It has been captured here. See. These are the activities and these things are these things are going in the activity logs. This is for the attachment. If you want to attach any file, you can attach it. Then on this, these are the form fields or the attributes or the dictionary entries. Specifically, when we are speaking from the form, it is a fields. When it's speaking from the table perspective, it's a dictionary entries. OK. Then. This is the contextual search. What is this? If I write it here, let's say test and test. What has been written in the short description is coming here. It is a contextual in some context. It is searching. And it's not a magic. It's all configuration. It's all configuration. Yesterday we done about the forms, right? Now to the homework is go and check the incident form. Go to the right click and open the configure and go for the form layout or the form design. And see what is this particular field called? What is the data type it is? See contextual search. It's a formatter. Yes, one question came. Uh, I guess yes, one question came on this part as well. What is formatter? Then these are called the sections. These tabs are called the section. One, two, three. You want to you can create any any uh, sorry as much as any tabs you can create. But remember. But remember. On your mobile phone, on your home screen. You keep only those. Application or the icons which you are going to be used very frequently. The same fundamental work here as well. The thing is that never ever try to bring a lot of fields on the form. It is foolishness, not the smartness. There are the cases my customer says Atul, I want one more field on the on the incident form. I said why? What is the business requirement? How many times are going to be used that field on the form level? He has no answer. I said no, I'm not adding. I'm not going to be at this field on the form level. This is what our consulting job come here. If you. If you ask why to the customer. You're actually probing the customer for the right problem statement. Ask at least five times why. Then you are able to get the answer. And able to take a decision as well. Shall I go ahead or shall I? Stop it myself to. Further discuss. Then at the last. These are called the related links. And these are called the related list. Related list. A best example which I gave for this concept. Let's say anybody who is unmarried here, a bachelor, still a bachelor. Okay, good. Let's say Mohammed. Mohammed is getting married and he invited his friends. He invited his relatives. His father invited his friends. His father invited his office colleagues. His mother invited her friends and her relatives. But practically in Muhammad house, only Muhammad, Muhammad father, mother and sister are living. Rest all are the supporting 
factors or supporting records because mohammad know that it is my marriage it is good it is feel good if i go and celebrate with everybody so these are the tabs are called the related tabs they are the one who are supporting this incident but not directly st staying in this incident table sla is presenting about this incident but not in the incident table affected ci not here some other table so now if mohammad invite his friends in the marriage they are not staying in mohammad house maybe they are in mohammad cities they are maybe in mohammad colony maybe in mohammad company but they are not they are not staying with mohammad house they are supporting in the marriage someone asks yes here are my friends they are supporting you yes we are here mohammad don't worry you go and carry on the function we'll take care of everything the arrangements in the background don't worry don't take any tension there so these are called the related tabs right click configure and related tabs here where it is go related list or related list my my related list and you can add as many as related list but again don't become foolish here yesterday one person becomes mohammad friend do you think that mohammad is going to be invite that person in the marriage after two days hey it's new friend no need no need don't invite this is what we have to be take care don't put unnecessary related list on the form now pulkit has a question atul why are discouraging this practice because more the more the fields you put it here your form will become heavy in the loading because see in the incident i guess only five or seven fields are coming from the incident table rest are coming from the task table these are coming from incident but the fields can be from other table these are not from the incident table bhai if you want to go on a trip and everybody is staying in separate separate house it will take time to collect everybody and start the trip on time if everybody see sitting in your own house in the morning hey get up everybody go and inside the cab let's move yes neha go ahead yes sir so adu uh, if you go back to your screen the form uh, yesterday uh, you taught us that how to design a form but my question is uh, during the implementation we already would have like if we are implementing implementing incident module mm -hmm. uh, in customers environment and but then we will already have the out of box uh, incident form available for us right we are right. just going to feed the data the requirement of the customer and so you mean in case there is an uh, additional field requirement for, from the from the customer and side yes, and if it is justified then only like we'll have to design the form separately no no not design the form separately to bring, add, to add that field on the table and bring on the form level exactly so but go go Okay, so what we learned yesterday, or what we are learning today, like designing a form, it's uh, it's actually from scratch, right? But actually, when we implemented customers environment, the out of the box modules, we already have form, right? This is yes. the only clarity that yes, yes, we don't yes. need to design these fields again. No, 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 no. Because yesterday, what we said, we are creating our own application, which is which is not existing service now. here i am just giving you that what the fields called so now if you see this change form let me save this change form and show you now see how many fields approximately 5 or 7 7 14 15 17 22 and uh, approximately 8 30 30 and then 1 and 2 32 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now, can you imagine this? How much time a form will take to be open if I load this complete form? So, if you are implementing out of the box, then chances are very less that you are going to be add anything new here because customer know only these things. Customer want only these things. If required, only then can add. 
Okay, so don't be mix. Don't don't the mix the things here. If it is a implementation out of the box, then customer prefer. By jo aara wo de do. What are these? What you are getting from service now? Give it to me. I'm happy to use. Later on, maybe after five months, six months, they are getting mature. Then they ask you, okay, Neha, can we add one more tab here, which contain this information? Maybe you find yes, it is required for them. Let's add it. Now I don't want this child to be incentive uh, available here. Can you remove this? Because we are not having this concept. Okay, remove it. That's fine for me. So these things come with the maturity. Mm-hmm. Okay. So here, important point is that as a consultant, they go. What what I say now. We are the consultant. We have to be think from the 360 degree angle. I give you one a good example. In my one of my project, I write a story. That I want whenever user click on the OK button, they should get an error message, that you did not provide the sign off. Please get a sign off, and then proceed. Okay. I write. My developer copy, paste it. And build that functionality. It go in the UAT. In the UAT, I got a defect. And you will surprise that what was the defect? The spelling of sign off was wrong. It was singing off. Typo. And developer copy and done it. Now the question come: Who should put a blame on this part? Is it developer responsibility or it's a B responsibility? Developer says, "I am the person who know what to do." Simple. मुझे बता दो क्या करना मैं कर दूँगा. You just tell me, I'll do it. I don't bother that I have to be right a right spelling, signing off or singing off. That's your responsibility. So this is what the consulting come into the picture. When you are building, when you are implementing service now for a customer, you have to be think. From the next five years perspective, that what customer is going to be used after five years, the four years, the six years. You are not building just for the tomorrow solution. You are building for a long term solution. So we sometimes we we have a lot of discussion. Why you need a new field here? Tell me. What you want to be achieve? Why not you use the field from the list view? Let's say, I said no, boss. I am not interested to be adding new field in the incident form. He says no, no. I want it. I said let's do one thing. Okay. I said okay. You want na? Do one thing. Let me give you this thing. Arey, I will change it. Let me open the change. I said if you want to use, you can bring the field on the list view. Don't bring on the form view. Ask justification. This is what company hired you. Because they think you are the you are the best person for this implementation, not the customer. So, be careful on these things, and you have a complete right to ask for the proper justification. Sometimes, in my experience, sometimes I seriously say no, cannot be done. Can we add one field? It is available on the table level. Can we add a table? Can we add this field on the form? I said why? We need a reporting. Use on the list. You don't put it here. Simple. Reject it because I know today they are be adding it. Tomorrow they people will complain that form is loading, taking lot lot of time for the load. And tomorrow they will say no, no, that's your mistake. Service now performance is not good. Then what you will do? So better cut the problem in the beginning itself. But if they provide the proper business justification, then we have to be accept it as well. So be clear on these these parts specifically. Okay, clear everybody. Any doubt? Any question? Um, one more question, Atul. Sure. So you just mentioned that we can, uh, in case customer require one more field, you you just mentioned that we can have it on the uh, list view, but not on the form. Right. For reporting purpose. Right. So how can a particular field is there is not there on the form but on the on the list, like just a name itself. If it's not there on the form, how can we view it in the list? 
Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming to the list view. So today we completed the form view. Okay, yes. so form view we know that go here, configure, and you can bring it. Now, if you want to add any field on the list, click on this gear icon. But then okay. it should be available uh, available here. Then only it will show in no. the gear icon. Who, no. Who says? Who says? Okay. Why? I I give an example. In your mobile phone, how many applications you have installed? 30, 40. Yeah. yeah, okay. Do yeah. you have all the icons on your home page? No. But still you're able to use, right? You just yes. swipe in and you go to that particular scroll page and you open that. Mm -hmm. This is the same funda here. The field is available on the table. Where to show it's my responsibility. Or okay. It's, it. it's available on table. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So now instead of bringing that field on the form level, I am happy to bring that field on the list level. See these many fields. See. If I bring these fields on the form, how much heavy your form will be? Double click. OK, again, these are out of the box fields. OK, yes. now I, I can link. Right, right. See, see the work which I am giving for the practice. Maybe you're not going to be used the same thing in the practical life because practically everything is going to be out of the box as of now. See, I added everything here. You can add complete 100 all the fields, let's say. Because list view is fine for me. But customer need a place where he can see all the fields. Form pe nahi wala, that's fine. Then let's bring it on the list view. See, now every field is there. See, it's, even it's become heavy now. See. Now let's say, you are using Snapchat once in a month or twice in a month. Do you think that you want to bring that particular icon on the home page? I think it's a waste. Either you keep it on the third page or the fourth page, either you keep it in the inside of the bucket. This is what we have to be thinking. Again, here also you have to be thinking as a customer. Do you need every field to be displayed? No, 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 no. I need only few things which I want to be known. Then keep it for that person purpose. That's all. If I say reset column default, it will just do that part only for me. This one. So tomorrow we are going to be discuss on the list view that what you can do here and what these components called specifically here. OK, any question, any doubt, any clarification? OK, so let me stop the recording and we'll take a quick attendance now.